Since yesterday, I've been using Liquid Remix on my phone and the good thing about custom ROMs for the OnePlus 6 is they've started coming with the default Oxygen OS camera that improves the quality and that makes your life much, much easier because most of the time when I move to a custom ROM, the first question that I have is, will it have camera quality like the stock ROM. Well, guess what? We have it and I've been using it since the last 24 hours or so. It's been going great and here's the first impressions of the first 24 hours with Liquid Remix, which will help you decide. This is a quick snap up, which will help you decide whether you want to install this ROM or not. Now, before we begin, if you want to know how to install this particular ROM, here's a card to that particular video. In the previous video, I installed Havoc OS. The procedure is exactly the same. The download links are mentioned in the description and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, now right off the bat, before we begin this particular video, you would notice that this is Oxygen OS instead of Liquid Remix. And what is Oxygen OS doing in a Liquid Remix video? There are a couple of bugs that I missed in the review, which I wanted to address before you actually go ahead and try it. One is that after you reboot the phone, it keeps on saying Android is starting. And if you go to wipe stuff or if you install the ROM, it would go to the bootloader. Now this has been addressed to the developer. Now there's one more bug which is very, very nasty is that uh, the apps, they stay stuck like WhatsApp and call logs and stuff. They stay stuck in landscape mode and only a reboot would fix it. So if you go ahead and reboot, the phone would then be stuck in Android is starting error. So this is a small issue. These two issues should be fixed. Nonetheless, this is a wonderful ROM and let's get going with the complete review. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, guys. So welcome to another video. And in today's video, we take a look at Liquid Remix. Now, usually, as I said, you know, I do installs and previews, but today we are not doing that. We are just going to do a quick, quick overview or review of this particular ROM. Now, let me tell you first, I installed it around afternoon yesterday and since then I have been very, very pleasantly surprised. Now, as you can see, the ROM looks brilliant and the amount of customization that I have is amazing as well. And that is the reason I'm absolutely loving it. There's not much that I'm compromising on the features when it comes to stock Oxygen OS versus this particular ROM. For example, if you will see that the colors of the notification tiles is customizable. This is a settings option over here. If I press this, we have running services shortcut. Apart from that, the UI or, you know, the whole feel is pretty stockish. But what you would notice is that the app launch is much, much faster. This, this ROM particularly has smaller transition timings, which makes the ROM feel much, much faster. You have the complete Google weather and you also have the feed, the Google now feed to the left. And if you would notice this particular animation or smoothness that's that is something that i you know wish we would somewhere someday get in oxygen os now not to discredit oxygen os i am saying that you know oxygen os is one of the best custom skins but then again yes custom roms well they have something different about it now one downside of this particular rom is the notch is not fully supported and if i were to put a lot of status bar items they do get hidden beneath the notch but hey you gain some, you lose some, right? Now, let's dive right into the settings option here real quick. Now, you would notice that it is more or less, it looks like Android Pie or Android P, whatever you want to call it. It is moving towards the Android P features and stuff like that. Now, first you have network and internet, all usual stuff. Now, this is where things get interesting. Now, this is something known as Liquid Lounge. All right, so what we will do is we will initially have a look at all the features of this particular ROM. And once we are done with the features, we will go ahead and talk about the goods and bads mainly if there are any bugs that should stop you from using this as a daily driver. So when we talk about features, yes, of course, we're going to look at Liquid Lounge. Now, first, let's have a look at the sections that we have here. We have gestures, lock screen, miscellaneous, navigation, notifications, power menu, quick settings, recent panel, and status bar. Now, mind you, each of these settings or each of these customization options have multiple layers of customization, and that is what we will see now. So if you were to go to gestures now one thing that i liked with this particular rom is it allows you to use gestures which are just like default oneplus gestures 
I have been using them. Now I've just disabled them for this particular video because the navigation keys are easier when, when making a video. But you have gesture anywhere. That means no matter what screen you are on, you can use this particular area to draw gestures and you can then navigate using that particular option or you can open apps and stuff like that. There you go, you have add or remove gestures, add gesture, see, there are so many things that you can do and that is the name of the game. Now, we'll keep that off for now. You have three finger screenshot, so that is borrowed directly from the stock Oxygen OS. Now, you also have screen off power button torch so if the screen is off and you want torch well you can just press the power button and you will have the torch active now you see this option over here use swipe up gestures for navigation now this is just the stock oneplus gestures that you have in oxygen os you have double tap to sleep double tap to wake and stuff like that if you go to aosp you have fingerprint gestures as well all right now moving on to carbon now you have right gestures, left gestures. So basically it has a whole sub menu of gestures and most of them are, all of them are working fine. I have tried them and they seem to be rock solid. Now let's move on to the next section and let's see what else interesting do we have in this particular ROM. Now if you go to lock screen, there is a ton of customization available. And if I were to go through each and every option under liquid customization so, well it would take a whole day to make that video but nonetheless we'll quickly have a look at the important ones you can have lock screen shortcuts you can then change the clock style the date style lock screen battery info now, each and everything you also have face auto unlock so you have the customization for that now we don't have face unlock in this rom but there is a setting for that which will then allow you to customize a lot of stuff now you have fingerprint unlock unlock device with fingerprint after reboot okay this option is there as well so then you have lock screen items you have hide bottom status text and stuff like that if you want you can have lock screen weather as well Moving on, if we go to the next setting, you do have miscellaneous. Now you have app circle bar, scrolling cache. You can enable the app circle bar if you've not seen it. There you go. So you can enable that. Apart from that, if you move on to other settings, you have screen off animation. So it's a simple fade. I like CRT. So just have a look how the screen turns off. Now that is definitely beautiful animation over there. Android P animation style. So you can have Android P animations, you have pocket detection, you have CPU info and a lot of things. That's your CPU info there. Apart from that, you have alarm customization, you have suspend actions, you have wake lock detector, which is built into the ROM, which is an absolute amazing thing because normally you would need something like an app for wake lock detector and stuff now you have navigation you can disable the navigation bar altogether and if you were to use uh, gestures yes you have to disable it only then the gestures would work you can arrange the height the landscape and then you can also arrange the buttons and stuff now maybe this setting is a placeholder because that option is not available right now apart from that if we move on to notifications you have expanded notifications you have less annoying in call notifications you have show notification count you have toast notifications you have vibrate to connect vibrate to waiting vibrate to disconnect so all these in call options are also there if you go you have heads up notifications as well and you can select apps which should be able to display heads up notifications and you can also blacklist the apps which should not be able to display now that is next level of control over each and every option if we go to battery you can have battery light do not disturb you can l customize the led notification light color so that is mind-blowing notification when it comes to this beautiful beautiful rom now, next on, you can customize the power menu. And just look at the amount of options that you can add in the power menu. You can add flight, this, that, this, that. And if you were to press the power menu, wow. That's like a power menu that I've not seen for a while. But nonetheless, we don't want such a huge power menu. Apart from that, if you go to quick settings, there's a lot of things that you can customize in quick settings as well. For example, you have the brightness slider, brightness icon, kill app button, and stuff like that now if you were to go to each and every setting it would take a very very long time but yes when it comes to any aspect of customization it is there you can customize a lot of things in the recent panel as well you can decide whether you have 
you want to have the clear all button or not where should it be you should have immersive recents or not do you want the memory bar or not you can choose if you want to have hidden apps or not Omni switch where that is something we will talk about in just a bit for now we will leave it aside next up we have status bar if you look at the status bar there is a ton of customization available you can change the battery icon to battery text dotted circle and then you I prefer to have it on text for that matter you can have status bar weather you can have select notification warning color battery bar you can choose to have a battery bar up at the status bar you can have it at the bottom of the nav bar you can have a carrier label you can customize all the clock options now this is just a gist of what is the amount of customization that this this rom offers and the good part is there are no major bugs that you know this will not allow you to use it as a daily driver or that will not allow you to use it as a daily driver now liquid lounge right there that one option itself in this particular custom rom makes a lot of difference but hey we are not done yet more like we're just getting started so if you go to display here and if you go to advanced you then have font size you have display size now these options are available in the stock rom moving on you have ambient display you have smart pixel you have an ambient music ticker and if you go to the bottom you have a host of options for the user interface that is the ui there you go now the complete ui is white and if i want i prefer it black because this is a oled display and it saves battery now you do have a dedicated option to go ahead and turn the pixels off which are not required and stuff you can choose a host of act and colors over there and the best part is the font without a reboot you can simply go ahead and apply a new font and it works just like that across the complete user interface for now we will keep at roboto now that was a display customization you have root management that directly takes you to Majisk and uh, mind you installation of this ROM requires installation of Majisk as well now you do have ambient display and this is one feature which has been having a lot of issues with custom ROMs off lately for example if we keep ambient display on these options let's see if these features actually work now the hand wave gesture I remember from the earlier note days okay well guess what it does work and it doesn't flicker so we don't have always on display over here but yes we do have ambient display and uh, yes it works like a charm apart from that if you quickly move to the camera you see this particular picture that I clicked and this particular picture of my PC that I clicked from the camera app that is the OS camera app now the rare portrait mode works as well there is no front portrait that is yet to be ported now overall this rom does a very very good job of being your daily driver and you know what we saw so far are all the customization options now talking about a few bugs before we wrap this video up yesterday when i installed the rom and i you know just went somewhere and came back it had problem reconnecting to the wi-fi but once i you know had to forget the wi-fi and then connect it well after that it has been just fine of course you don't have the front portrait mode of course you don't have always on display the battery life let me just share the battery life with you guys over here all right so last full charge was 10 hours and 40 minutes back 2 hours and 19 minutes of screen on time now I've been having a lot of voice calls lately you can see that there's one hour of voice calls so the battery life is not amazingly awesome as great as oxygen os but then again it will easily easily take you through a day and in my 24 hours of usage this is what i have been able to observe with this particular rom i have played games i have tried a few benchmarks first of all i did try ant2 and this was after a game that is the reason it gave me a low score probably but then again my impressions on this particular rom is well you should definitely definitely give it a try it is definitely a daily driver there's not many options that are missing and it has a ton of customization options and features yes desk charge is working yes all the basic oneplus features are working talking about the alert slider well the alert slider does work but it doesn't give you that notification but almost all the basic features that are required for you to use your oneplus 6 as a daily phone well they are definitely definitely working fine for now well let's wrap this up this was the full review or quick full review of liquid remix for the oneplus 6 until the next one keep smiling take care and don't forget to give this video a like see you guys goodbye